are my best moments. Good morning, May Trev. Today is Monday, 19th of November. Welcome to my new vlog today. Now, today, I'm leaving. Leaving the Gold Coast today. And, uh, but I've had a good time. I've had a great time. I've had a great time here. And, um, so, well, uh, yeah, it's been a journey. So, have a look outside for the last time. Yeah. That's for the last time, so I've got to go uh, catch a bus, the Connexus bus, to the airport, Kulagata, and uh, catch the plane around about 10 past 10 to go to Sydney, back to Sydney, yeah, and connect the flight from there to Albury. So um, then uh, I stay in Albury tonight, and back in the same motel that I stayed in last week. So, anyway, and I'll be home on Tuesday, so they'll be heading home on the train. So, anyway, I'll catch you down the track. I just arrived in, Aub in Albury, successfully. Yeah, I've had a good flight. Um, uh, my flight from the Gold Coast to Sydney was one hour delayed for one hour. <laughs> so, um, got to Sydney okay. And then uh, the, the plane was on time from um, Albury, uh, from Sydney to Albury here. So, um, and uh, it was cloudy. It was a good flight as well, a bit bumpy in the air as well. So, so now I'm here at the Windsor Park Motel and staying here for the night. And so tomorrow I catch the train, uh, lunchtime train, back to Wangaratta, back to my hometown. Yeah, so... Um, I've had a great trip. I had a great time. I really did. And uh, so now, Wednesday, I'll be putting up a normal vlog, an update, update everybody. Hello. <laughs> I just went for a bit of a walkabout and uh, had something to eat. So um, that's good. Just a light meal, just a light snack, and an ice cream here in Albury. So, yeah, so, uh, uh, good to have a bit of a walk and do some exercises. Now, that's something I'm going to have to do when I get home. I have to do, try and do some more walking and more bike riding. So, uh, that's something I've been lacking on when I was when I was at home before I came on, this, on the road trip and the, and the, <coughs> and the, uh, flight trip to the Gold Coast <laughs> so I'll have to get the habit of doing that because I really now to be honest during my Gold Coast trip um, I really haven't been well I know you'll be saying what yeah I really haven't been well at all I don't know what it is um, I might have to go and have a check up with my doctor uh, find out what's going on because I have been throwing up a lot at night and um, that happened uh, last night actually or two mornings ago or well, had been, been happening frequently I've been throwing up in the middle of the night so um, it's just a reflux so something in my chest or somewhere in my chest or in my throat is a problem because it burns up so um, and you lose you lose um, appetite you don't want to eat a meal. You can't. You just don't want to go out eating a meal because you start to feel sick after a while. So what's going on? I may have lost a little bit of weight, I think, um, because I'm moving around more and I don't have my strainer in my hips and my spine. They're gone. The pain is gone. Wow, good. So but the other thing that uh, I'm trying to get over with is my sickness at the moment. So... The other thing I may think it could be, it could be stress. It could be stress ever since I put my dad into the nursing home. Because I've been a, I've been a carer and really um, I haven't had a had this 
journey to go to the Gold Coast or anywhere uh, for quite some time. So um, it may be part of it. I don't know. Could be stress. So I need to get out there, breathe in the air, get in a bit of forest work, get in the forest, rainforest, rainforest, <laughs> like I went to Mount Tambourine yesterday. That was awesome. Thanks, Linda. That's my cousin. <laughs> she took me over there. Well, what are my best moments on my high, the highlights of my trip? Now, me at first, firstly, what's, what's my best thing I ever done on my road trip? When I went to Narendra, West Wyalong, and Timor, what was the best day? I, what was the best thing I ever done? I liked my favourite thing I did on that road trip. Well, it was a toss-up between bike riding in Narendra or the Timor Air Show. Timor Air Show was my main uh, was my main thing I wanted to see. So I would have to be it would have to be the Timor Showcase Air Show, the Warbirds, yes. And the but second only would be the bike riding in Narendra. That was great. I enjoyed that bike ride. Yeah. And the worst things on that trip, the worst, what I didn't like on that trip, ah, what was it? Well, apart from me being sick all the time, um, I didn't like the food in West Wyalong at a, ca at a cafe. I had chicken and chips at a cafe. Um, the plate, she filled the plate up too much. The chicken, I thought the roast chicken was a little dry. Mm. I couldn't get through it all. I couldn't. <laughs> well, chips and gravy and the roast chicken. And uh, I couldn't get through the whole lot. So, and the motel I stayed at, I wasn't doing that. I wasn't very happy because it was too cheap and nasty. So, uh, now the review of the Gold Coast trip, what I liked the best and what I didn't like. <laughs> well, my favourite, my favourite day, um, it was a hard one, I mean, I had a good time. <laughs> my favourite day, I think, would, would have to be yesterday when I went to Mount Tambourine, um, going walking through the rainforest and the glowworm cave, the cave, go through the cave, and they've got glowworms. It's in, it's in the dark, no light is not to be in there. So they're not to have any light, only infrared light. So that's why I, they weren't allowed to have cameras, people with cameras, flash photography, and it wasn't allowed. So um, I think I enjoyed that. That was, the most, that was the best day, going to Mount Tambourine, because I've never, ever been to that area before. So that was a highlight. Now the worst day, um, I don't know, um, they're all good times, the bad, the worst time, um, I don't know, I think it was just the schoolies weekend, <laughs> too many rowdy people, yeah, in the buildings, in the streets, it was good entertainment watching, but they were very, very, very rowdy through the night, and all through the night, Saturday, Friday night, Saturday night, you could, we can hear sirens all night going all the time <laughs> but this morning Monday this morning was very quiet where everybody going what happened <laughs> was very quiet I think they just it's just like the the teenagers the schoolies all just disappeared it's either that or they're hibernating in their rooms and uh, Trying to get over the <laughs> the good times, yeah. Oh yeah, headaches. <laughs> that wasn't good. Well, that, there you go. That's the highlights of my trip, Gold Coast trip, and also my road trip. And I hope you've been. I hope you've been enjoying all my clips of my journey. Yeah. So I got one day to go. Heading home tomorrow, which will be Tuesday. And the other thing I liked about
about the Gold Coast was having that spa and the spa bath, spa pool. That was really good. I, I, I was in the spa pool then I for a while, then I got out and just just lay down on the pool deck chair. Yeah, that was really good. Now, there's a little bit of sadness. Now, I'm, I'm not one to go into current affairs and news and things like that, but when I left this morning, uh, I was at the Gold Coast, I was at Coolangatta Airport, and uh, what I found on my on Facebook, um, uh, it was a, I found a dead infant at Surface Paradise on the beach. A deceased infant. I think she was only about two year old or something like that, I think. Or um, something like that. That's a tragic. They found her this morning. Who on earth would uh, have a uh, kill a child? But you know, someone just came along and uh, just found a dead infant just on the, on the foreshore. That was this morning. God bless the child. Uh, mm. Anyway, I'm going to finish this vlog and until tomorrow I'll be on my way home on the train and uh, so I shall see you then. Create harmony. Peace. Bye. You never know what I'll get up to next. Such as going home. <laughs> Bye.